Hello, my name is Coach David Wacker, and today we are going to demonstrate the proper technique of doing the layup in basketball. So, my assistant, Katie, will be showing us first what not to do, and then how to properly perform three different kinds of layups. This is Katie. She will be demonstrating for us how not to do a layup. So in the first layup we saw, why was it such a big deal? Why is it such a big deal for her to stop? And I want to demonstrate that if there is a person running right beside me, and I'm dribbling down this side to the left side, and I pick the ball up and I stop before I go into my shot, that gives the defense time to recover and to come in front of me so they could block my shot. But if, like we'll see Katie do here in a second, if I come in and I don't stop and I just go all the way into my shot, then it gives me the advantage over the defense. First way to do a layup. One footed on the right side. Good job. And here is the first way again, but just on the left side. So now she's going to be jumping off of her right foot. Good job, Katie. So you can see by Katie that when you're on the right side, on the first technique of layup, you take a dribble, and then with your right hand, you go up and it's attached to your right knee. And then you finish out the layup. As well as, on the left side, you have your left hand and your left knee lifted and you finish the layup. And so now it is my turn to demonstrate the second technique of doing a layup. Now the way that I like to do layups when I'm straight on is doing a finger roll as I'm going to show you right now. The second technique of the finger roll, it's much better when you're older because you have bigger hands that are able to grip the ball. So I wouldn't recommend this technique until you get to at least middle school. Dribble, I go in, I go right-handed, finger roll. So the second technique, which I showed you is the finger roll, would only be used, like I've already said, if you're old enough and have big enough hands. And also, most likely, it'd be when you're running down the center of the floor. And so if I'm running down the center, and I don't want to go to the left or the right side, I can just go straight up in the middle, and go straight up in the air, and flip it up in the air. And that's how you do the finger roll, and that's when you would do it, is when you're on a fast break. Final technique of the layup, Katie will be demonstrating the reverse layup in which you go underneath the basket and finish on the other side of the rim. Here we go, Katie. Oh, great shot. The technique that Katie showed you, which is the reverse layup, is a really good technique, but also very advanced, like I've told you. But if you practice hard enough to be able to do it, you can become better at doing the reverse layup as well as the other two that I've showed you today. When I grew up, I could barely do a left-handed layup. I always tell my dad, you know what, I can't, I can't do it, I can't do a left-handed layup. And he would always respond to me, you can't do it what? And I would have to say, yet. So that's what I would tell you out there, that I can't do certain things with the basketball court, you just can't do it yet. But with hard work and determination, you can. And then maybe you can also learn how to do this. Again, for watching my video. I hope that you learned something about how to do a layup and the three different kinds. Again, are off of one foot on the right or left side, the finger roll, and the reverse layup. Thanks again. <laughs>